What is maintainable JavaScript? So maintainable JavaScript is basically code that will last for a while. It's JavaScript that's written in such a way that next week when a new browser comes out, it's not just going to completely fall apart. On okay. It. Uh, you have put a little bit more thought into it, um, followed some patterns and conventions that help you and other people on your team to continue to work with it over time uh, without saying, oh man, I just need to rewrite this whole thing. So what are the fundamentals? So the fundamental pieces are one, uh, deciding on a style within your team. And style is very personal. So my style hmm. will be different than your style. Okay. Uh, it's different from company to company. And it's not really about there being a right style and a wrong style so much as there is being one style. Everybody is speaking the same language. Um, and that allows multiple people on the same team to work with different people's code very easily because it all looks the same, it all acts the same, it all right. works the same. Uh, another part is following some good programming practices. So for instance, doing a lot of browser sniffing is a really bad idea mm -hmm. because browsers change all the time and you'll constantly be left with the maintenance nightmare of going in and fixing that when new browsers come right. up. Yeah. Uh, you want to avoid that. Uh, and the last part is uh, using automation to your advantage. Uh, automation is what basically helps you make sure that your code is doing certain things without you manually going in and doing it. So you can run like JS Hint to check that your code is well formed. Uh, you can run uh, code style checks. You can run unit tests. And running those automatically rather than manually will just save you a lot of time going forward. What about mindset? I mean, should developers, even the lone wolf developer, should all developers assume that at some point someone may be trying to read and interact with their code? Well, I think especially now in the day and age of open source, that if you're doing anything that you intend to be open source, mm -hmm. you need to assume that somebody else is going to be looking at your code. Right. Uh, and even in some cases, if you're just working on a high profile site, you also have to expect that somebody's going to be viewing source and kind of digging in and seeing how you did certain things. So keeping in mind that uh, you need to write your code so people can read it, uh, secondarily so that the computer can execute it, usually helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last question. I imagine that your focus on maintainable JavaScript is born from bad experiences of not having maintainable JavaScript. Have you ever had to just start from scratch because code was completely inaccessible? Oh yeah. Uh, there are plenty of times when that happens, uh, and there are plenty of times when you wish that you could just start from scratch. <laughs> uh, and w what I've been trying to do is help people to bridge that gap. Uh, I like to tell people that when you write maintainable code, it should last for five years. Okay. You shouldn't have to completely destroy it and build it back up. Um, I have definitely been on projects where I'm like, wow, this code is terrible. I don't know how far I can push it before I need to rewrite it all because it's just going to break. Ideally, you don't end up in that situation. You have extension points built in. Um, but sometimes uh, you just have to say, look, I've pushed this as far as I can. If you actually want things to be better, I have to have the time to rewrite it. Uh, and of course, the business side of things doesn't like you to be spending time rewriting all the time. Sure, right. Uh, so you need to keep that in your back pocket rather than coming out every year and saying it's time to rewrite again. Right. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thanks for having me.